September the 3rd, the last days of summer. We are going to do some exercises it's very early in the morning. And after that, we will be talking about computer science. What is computer science and, and why this name is incorrect? Why we shouldn't call computer science computer science? Truth to be told, computer science is not about computers and is not a science. Same way as geometry is not about the measurement tools. So saying that computer science is not computer science is not my own idea, of course. It's been said many times before by many people. And today we will try to see who those people are and why they say that computer science it's not really about computers and it's not really a science and one of the most probably one of the most important references i will mention is a book called structure and interpretation of computer programs which is one of the most important books in programming and in computer science so it's it helps you to deepen your understanding about computers about programs about constructing programs and somehow it puts you on the next level. So, if computer science is not about computers and it's not science, what is it? We could say that it's magic, or rather, it's like magic. This is one of my favorite parks in the city of Poznan. Why is computer science like magic? Before I explain that, let's talk about, again, about the structure and interpretation of computer programs, the book I mentioned um, just before. The book I, sh I think you should read if you're interested in programming and if you want to be uh, better in this craft. So there is a book, but there is also a course, a video course on YouTube, which was recorded in 1986. And it's um, a video course by the authors of the book. So Hal Abelson and Gerald Sussman. And I will now switch to Hal so that he can explain why computer science is like magic. I'd like to welcome you to this course on computer science. Actually, that's a terrible way to start. Uh, computer science is a terrible name for this business. First of all, it's not a science. It might be engineering or it might be art. Or we'll actually see that computer so-called science actually has a lot in common with magic. And we'll see that in this course. So it's not a science. It's also not really very much about computers. And it's not about computers in the same sense that, that physics is not really about particle accelerators. Biology is not really about microscopes and petri dishes. It's not about computers in the same set, sense that geometry is not really about uh, using surveying instruments. In fact, there's a lot of uh, commonality between computer science and geometry. Geometry, first of all, is another subject with a lousy name. Uh, the name comes from Gaia, meaning the Earth, and metron, meaning to measure. Geometry originally meant measuring the Earth or, or surveying. Now, the reason that we think computer science is about computers is pretty much the same reason that the Egyptians thought geometry was about surveying instruments. And that is when some field is just getting started and you don't really understand it very well, it's very easy to confuse the essence of what you're doing with the tools that you use. The important stuff they were doing was to begin to formalize notions about space and time. Figuring out a way to talk precisely about so-called declarative knowledge. What is true? Well, similarly, I think in the future, people will look back and say, yes, those, those primitives in the 20th century were fiddling around with these gadgets called computers. But really what they were doing is 
starting to learn how to formalize, formalize intuitions about process, how to do things. You can think of it as like a magical spirit that sort of lives in the computer and does something. The thing that directs a process is a pattern of rules called a procedure. So procedures are the, are the spells, if you like, that uh, control these magical spirits that are the processes. Well, I guess you know everyone needs a magical language. And so we're going to conjure our spirits in a magical language called Lisp, you know, which is a language designed for talking about, for casting the spells that are procedures to direct the processes. So we, we just listened to Hal Abelson talking about talking about why computer science is not about computers and it's not really science. So before we analyze what he said, at the end he mentioned that you should use Lisp to control those magical spirits that live in your computer. Lisp is a great recommendation and I personally I think if you want to start your uh, programming journey, you should start with Lisp. And you have many choices now, from uh, Clojure, I mentioned in the other video, to Racket. The Lisp programming language is a great starting point. Personally, I think it's one of the best programming language you can use. This idea of a language that is able to control the magical spirits that live here on computer, it um, triggered some memory. So we are currently in a place where I started my first job and it was programming. So right over there, we will, I will take you there. I started uh, my job as a programmer and I was using a language called Perl. So this is a supercomputing center. So it's a government-based scientific institution where there is a lot of um, computation done on those big special computers called supercomputers like Cray or Spark. My first programming language wasn't Perl. I started with C and Pascal, but my first job was in Perl and so it was over, over there. So I will take you there now. So I, I shouldn't cross the street like that in this place, but it's okay. I was doing this route every day during the summer 2003. So that's the place. It's a supercomputing center. So I spent here three months during the summer and I was working with the Q systems. It was like some proprietary systems running on some, I don't remember exactly, sparks. And they asked me to do some integration. So they said, well, there is this language, Perl. I remember I was working on those, um, they gave me an old Spark. I don't remember exactly the, the, the name of this computer, but I remember it had eight processors. And it was pretty funny because at home I had a Pentium with just one processor, so it was pretty, uh, pretty cool. And all those computers were running Unixes. So not Linuxes, but Unixes, like operating systems that Linux was inspired by. And I was also impressed by the quality of the window managers at that time. And it was much better than Windows at that time and much better than Linux. And yet, it doesn't exist now. The same way as we have Linux and we have Windows. Uh, so it's, it's pretty sad, but uh, it's life. <music> Good. Oh, it's, it's better like that. <sighs> this is good. Can we talk like that? I'm not sure if this setup will work. We need to roll with that. So let's talk about Hal and what he said. So he starts by saying that computer science is not science. He says that it's maybe art, maybe engineering, but not science for sure. Science has very specific rules. In science, you observe the world and you do experiments. 
you test your assumptions about the world around you. Whether it's physics or chemistry or biology, you watch the, the world around you and then you specify your uh, experiments and then you test those assumptions. Science is known for uh, its empirical approach, which means that you need experiments. And we don't really do experiments in computer science with few exceptions maybe. In computer science we deal mostly with some ideal uh, entities we could say. So it's not science. And then he proceeds and he says that it's not about computers. It's not about computers the same way as geometry is not about surveying or measurement tools, the same way as physics is not about the particle accelerators or biology, it's not about petri dishes. And, and then he clarifies that when there is a new field that emerges, like computer science, at the beginning, at the very beginning, people tend to confuse the essence of this field with the tools they use, which is the case for the geometry. Geometry is not about the tools, although it's named almost the same way, like uh, geo, the earth, and uh, metry to measure the earth. Geometry is a field which allows us to formalize the notions of space and time. This can lead to an axiomatic method. So it's completely different from measuring the earth and to having this uh, clear notions about the space and about time. And it's the same with computer science. We just used compu computers, but it's not really about computers. The nature the essence of computer science is the computation. The thing we do in computer science is to, we try to formalize process. We want to know how to do things. And as Hal says, process, processes are like spirits in your computer, like magical spirits. And then you have to have some rules to control or to direct those processes the way you want. And these are procedures. You have specific set of rules which allows you to control those spirits, those magical spirits. So it's magic all the way down. And then at the end, you of course need language so that you can control uh, those spirits. He proposes Lisp, as we just said, but there are many other magical many other languages which allows you to cast spells and to control those spirits from very well known such as JavaScript to slightly obscure like Lisp to even very obscure ones like um, let's say NIM. Nowadays you have a lot of languages which allows you to do magic to cast spells and you can choose. If you are sticking with the suggestion that Hal is giving us in this lecture that you start with Lisp, it somehow will help you better understand this whole magic thing, which is computer science. So now you know, when doing computer science, you are not a programmer, you are a magician. Let's leave it here. The last important thing we would need to cover is to answer the question, what's the nature of computation? And I will talk about it in the next vlog, when we will talk about uh, the work of Alan Turing. And we will try to... Oh, the wind is very bad. We will try to answer the question, what's the nature of computation? Okay, I almost forgot. So, uh, next time we meet, please be sure to read the structure and interpretation of computer science. It will greatly help with understanding the next thing. That's all for today. Bye.